Apple Notes has transformed from a simple app into a feature-rich platform for managing notes efficiently. However, Obsidian is for people who love a more advanced setup, with tools to link notes and even visualize how your ideas connect. Since these apps are designed for distinct purposes, which one will actually help you be productive? The main difference between Apple Notes and Obsidian is where your notes live and how you can access them. With Apple Notes, everything is saved in the cloud, so you can pick up any device and log in, and all your notes are right there. Obsidian works differently. It saves your notes directly on your device, which gives you more control over them but also means you can't easily grab your notes on another device without extra setup. Now let's talk about how they look at first glance. When you open Apple Notes, the design makes everything feel simple and easy. To create a new note, you can just click the button in the corner. Organizing is pretty intuitive, too. Drag your notes into folders, scroll through them, and pick how you want to see them. There's the list view, which sorts notes by date, or the gallery view, where you get a little preview of the note's title, text, and any pictures you've added. It's all about keeping things clean and less time-consuming. Obsidian is built for people who care about more flexibility and control, and it's visible in the interface too. When you open it, the first thing you'll notice is how the main writing area is framed by sidebars. You can set them up to do exactly what you need, whether that's organizing your notes or keeping track of connected ideas. The dual mode system is one of its best features. Edit mode is where you write plain and simple, using Markdown. If you want to see how your writing will look when it's all polished up, Preview mode takes care of that. Even better, you can open both modes at the same time by holding Command and clicking Preview. On top of all that, Obsidian keeps your data in plain text files, not locked away in some special format. That means your notes are yours forever. All in all, the interface of Obsidian is a bit complex, cause it has to be. Apple Notes has made organizing your notes a lot easier with the addition of tags. Think of tags as little labels you can add to help group related notes. Just type hash followed by the name of your tag anywhere in your note, whether it's in the body or the title. Once you've added tags, you'll find a handy tag browser right below your list of folders. Clicking on a tag instantly pulls up all the notes you've connected to it. To the same tag to a bunch of notes, just select them all and use the tags button at the bottom. There's also a new feature called Smart Folders, which are folders that can automatically organize notes for you based on certain rules like when you wrote them, when you last edited them, or who they're shared with. If you turn a regular folder into a Smart Folder though, there's no going back. To get the original type of folder, you'd have to delete the Smart Folder and make a new one from scratch. If you use Notes a lot, you know how messy things can get when you add too much information to one note. With the newest updates, iOS and iPadOS 18 and macOS Sequoia, Notes makes it easier to stay organized. It looks for your headings or subheadings and lets you collapse the stuff under them. In Obsidian, you can set up your notes in lots of different ways. It's all about finding a system that works best for you. One popular idea in the community is called MOCs. A MOC is like a main page that links to other notes, which gives you an easy way to see and access everything about a topic. Another simple way to organize is the PARA system, which splits your notes into four main groups. Projects are where you put stuff you're working on right now. Areas hold notes for things you're responsible for or hobbies that don't have an endpoint. References is where you save helpful info like articles or research. Finally, archive is for stuff you're finished with but might need later. It's an easy system to keep everything neat and easy to find. Now let's break down some key note-taking features for both. Did you know Apple Notes can do math for you? Just type or write an equation like 250, 75 equal, and it'll show you the answer. If you're using an iPad, you can even write equations by hand with an Apple Pencil, and it still works. It's a handy feature for quick tasks like figuring out a budget or solving small problems without leaving the app. Plus, the latest update in iOS 18 lets you highlight your text in five colors purple, pink, orange, mint, or blue. When you highlight, the text color changes too, giving your notes a neat two-tone style. 
Sometimes typing just doesn't get the job done. Like when you're brainstorming or interviewing someone. That's why Apple Notes has a voice recording option. Just tap the microphone, hit record audio, and talk. What's great is that it also creates a written version of what you say. So, if you're in a meeting, you'll end up with both the audio and the text to look back on later. You can even add pictures or files, too. Tap the camera icon to add a photo, or even snap a new one. You can also bring in files from the Files app, like lecture slides or important documents. Everything stays in one place, so you don't have to switch between apps. If drawing helps you think, Apple Notes has this feature, too. Pick a tool by tapping the pen icon, and you can sketch anything, from room layouts to quick doodles for your projects. It's perfect when words aren't enough, and you can always go back and edit your drawings if you need to. Now, the way you write on Apple Notes is totally different from Obsidian. Obsidian's default theme can feel a little too busy at first, but you can change it to something simpler. To do this, click the gear icon in the bottom left corner to open the settings. Then, find the Appearance tab. Under Themes, you'll see a Manage button. Click it. This will show you several themes to pick from. A good one to try is the Minimal theme because it's simple and easy to use. Don't worry if you change your mind later. You can always pick a different one. Once your theme is ready, it's time to make your first note. The fastest way is to click the New Note button in the top left corner. A good first step is to create a home note. This is like your personal dashboard for Obsidian. You can put anything important in it, like a list of links to other notes you use often. At first, your home note might look basic, and that's okay. Those square brackets you'll use for linking might seem strange, but they're part of Obsidian's system, and you'll get used to them quickly. This is where Obsidian starts to shine, and Apple Notes begins to feel a bit limited. The biggest advantage of Obsidian is how it handles linking notes together. It's like creating a web of ideas that all connect to each other. Folders and tags are fine, but let's be honest, they can get messy fast. Linked notes make things so much simpler. All you have to do is type two curly braces, then the name of the note you want to connect. Obsidian even helps out by suggesting your recent notes or letting you search through everything you've saved. The best part? These links don't just keep things organized. They create a network that helps you see connections between ideas and find what you need right when you need it. Markdown is a way to write text that makes formatting easy and straightforward. It's not as flashy as programs like Word, but it's very practical once you know the basics. When you need a title, just add a hash before your text. The number of hash symbols determines the heading level. Making links is also simple. When creating links, write the link text in square brackets and the URL in parentheses. Apple has added a great new feature in iOS 17 that lets you connect your notes. Just long press on any note and you'll see an add link option. You can then type in a web address or search for another note to link them together. If you want a quicker way, you can type two greater than symbols and it'll show you your last six notes. Tap on one and it gets linked instantly. The links look like clickable text with an underline and when you tap them, they take you to the linked note. But to be honest, the linking of Apple Notes is nowhere close to Obsidian. So as of now, you must have got a clear idea that Apple Notes and Obsidian can't be compared toe to toe. That wasn't our goal either. We wanted to demonstrate which one belongs to you. Do you like Apple Notes' fast and quick note-taking approach? Or do you need to portray your ideas the way your brain works? Make the decision according to your needs. Ultimately, that will help you be productive. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.